Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to go over the top 10 must-have iPad apps of 2013 into 2014. Now these iPad apps were chosen by me, by some that I use, and others were by looking at other websites and seeing what they think their top 10 are, and kind of compiling of all of them to figure out what I think is the best. And one of those is on my front home page, and that's iPhoto. iPhoto is a $5 app from Apple. It's been redone for iOS 7, and it is a really great organizational and editing tool that goes beyond that of photos built into the iPad. So I'd be sure to check that out. I've done a separate video of that, so I'm not going to go into that in depth, and I'll be sure to leave a link to some of those things in the description below. The next app we're going to go on to is Pulse. Pulse has been recommended by me multiple times, and it just keeps getting better. They keep updating it regularly. You can see it's been iOS 7-ified, and you can see down here, it's all these different news sources curated, and we can just tap on one, it will open and go back, and so on and so forth. It's a free app and definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. For our third app, let's go to the next page here. And our third app is MoneyWiz. MoneyWiz, I'm not going to go into because it's an application that stores all of your financial information, and I've gone over it in a separate video. But it's available for iPhone, iPad, and Mac, and syncs all of that data, and soon to come out to Android, from what I understand. It syncs between all of the different data. They actually don't use iCloud because they find it to be unreliable, so they use their own sync solution, which does it encrypted and reliably. For our fourth app, we've got Yahoo Weather. Yahoo Weather came out free as a completely revamped app. It's available for iPad and iPhone free, and you can see it was a little bit choppy there for some reason, but there's the temperature, afternoon, evening, night, tomorrow. Scroll down, gives us details, wind, nice animations, and you can add in all sorts of different locations if you'd like to see other areas as well. Our next application is Air Video. Air Video I've gone over some time ago. It's a really fantastic app, and what it allows you to do is stream your videos from your Mac or Windows computer straight to your iPad. And it doesn't even have to be on the same network. It can do it remotely. So if you're away on vacation and you want access to your videos that are at home, home videos, whatever you have there, you can stream them wirelessly to the application. It even converts them on the fly, so you don't have to worry about the format they're in. This application, last I checked, they had a free version and a paid version, so you can at least check it out, and it's fantastic. It's really inexpensive and definitely worth taking a look at. Our next application is Paper. Paper is a fantastic app. It's free and supported by buying brushes within the app. It's a drawing app. We'll make a new journal here tap on it and it's very very responsive to touch it's really well done and we can just draw you can see now what happens is the faster I go the thicker the line gets so it feels really intuitive and really really nice to use when I want to go out maybe I want to draw something different I can tap on here and if I want to use a different brush that's how they make money off it so you can see you can try it out or it's a dollar ninety nine it's really fantastic and it's a great app. It feels so intuitive to use and you can just draw. If you're really into drawing or just wanna sketch something simple, be sure to check it out. Our seventh app is The Room. The Room is a free game that recently was reduced to free because The Room 2 came out. Now if we tap on this, you can see it takes a second to open, but it's a really fantastic puzzle game. And the idea is to get into this puzzle or this box. It looked a little scary from the videos or the different pictures that are associated with the app, but it's really not at all. We'll select a chapter. I've already gone through the entire game. And it takes a second to load, like I said. And here's this box. This is the tutorial, so I can't really do much other than what it wants you to do here. But the idea is you solve the puzzle by looking at different things and unlocking different things to get you inside this box to ultimately see what's in there. It's a really fantastic game filled with a bunch of different puzzles. And if it is a pay app again, it was only $5 to begin with. So once you finish this game, the new one is $5 as well. Our eighth application is Google Maps. Google Maps may seem obvious, but it's a really great alternative to Apple Maps. It gives really accurate directions and it also gives you the duration to, that it may take you to get to that destination. And it's very accurate as far as that goes. It, it calculates based on 
where you are and based on traffic to where you're going and gives you a really accurate time of that actual arrival time. I found it to be accurate more than once. And you can see here's the application. You can get directions. And if you have a 3G enabled iPad like this one, you can actually use the GPS in your car to get directions to wherever you're going. It's also available for the iPhone, but it works just as well on the iPad and you can see things a little bit better. It's really fantastic and free, so definitely worth checking out. Our ninth app is Songza. Songza is kind of a curated version of some of the other radio streaming app. So you can see we have the holidays, we have Remembering 2013, Boost Your Energy. So if we go into Boost Your Energy, you've got other options and you can say upbeat, happy and absurdly fun. And then we can just pick these. Now I can't play these due to copyright concerns, but basically we'll just show you what you've got. You've got popular, you can make your own playlist, you can explore, you can even search for an artist you might want to listen to. So it's similar to those others that are out there but it also kind of curates things to be based on mood. It's really a fantastic app. And again, this one is free, so definitely be sure to check it out. Finally, we're going to take a look at a few apps to be our number 10 app. Really, it's iMovie. And iMovie is a free application from Apple that allows you to edit your movies. Let's go into this. There really won't be much here, but it allows you to edit your movies really quite nicely. And you can just drag and drop. You can see this is a movie I created. Uh, I was probably doing a top 10 iPhone apps or something like that, but we can edit them, play them, and even add audio effects to them, things like that. So it's really, it's not too much of a scaled down version of the one that comes on the Mac. So it's really fantastic and works interchangeably. The other ones I would check out as well that don't really fit into a top 10, but are worth noting are Keynote, Pages, and GarageBand. These are all free now if you have a new iPad with iOS 7. If not, they're really inexpensive, and Pages is a great alternative to Word and those sort of programs. You can even export into Word. So if you need to export your document into Word, you can do that. And another mention is Google Hangouts. I just wanted to mention that you can chat with your friends that are on Android that may not have Apple devices. So you've got messages for Android or for Apple rather here where you can just chat with everybody, but you've also got Hangouts. So if you have both of those, you can chat with your friends on Android and on your iPhone or iOS devices. Those are the top 10 that I've found. Now there may be some that you think should be in there. Please place those in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Maybe I missed some that you think are fantastic and worth noting. Place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.